Marcy Stevens doesn't let much get her down. My mentality has always been nothing can break me. Since losing her legs two years ago, Stevens has had to overcome many obstacles, and now she's stepping towards a new goal. Nervous. I don't know if I'm going to fall flat on my face, but I'm going to try not to. She's taking part in Ottawa Race Weekend on Sunday, with plans to walk as far as two kilometres on her new prosthetic legs along the Trans-Canada Trail near her home. I'm going to walk as far as I can. I might not be the full distance. I might be able to do maybe a quarter, maybe not even uh, 10 minutes, but I plan to roll the rest of it. A lofty goal to thank those who helped with her recovery. I wanted to do it for everyone that has helped me, everyone that has uh, given me a reason to continue on. So all the nurses and all the doctors and all the staff at the Ottawa Hospital. Stevens was one of 35 people seriously injured when the double-decker city bus she was on slammed into an awning at Ottawa's Westboro station. Three others died in the crash. She's an extremely positive person. Dr. Nancy Dudek has been working with Stevens. She describes her recovery as inspirational. Not only did she have to learn to adjust to having an entirely different body, but she had to start working on developing frankly, a much higher level of physical fitness. I never set out to be a, uh, a source of inspiration. I'm honored that I am, but I'm just trying to be the best that I can be. No doubt that's exactly what she'll do on Sunday. Robin Miller, CBC News, Ottawa.